What's up, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Stuff is Stuff, and this is episode 22 of This Week in Retro. This week we have a Super Smash TV tournament, a new Super C world record, a Castlevania port, and a new Amstrad CPC game. Seventh annual Super Smash TV Easy Percent Tournament Kickoff Extravaganza. The seventh annual Smash TV Tournament signups are now live. This is always a super fun event and is open to all skill levels. The room doesn't enter the straps, oh my god! He doesn't see them! Oh my god, 40 bomb! The tournament goes on for multiple days, and if you don't want to play, it's also really fun to watch. The rules are as follows. Run begins when pressing start on one player option. Make sure the setting for difficulty is on easy. Run completes when the screen fades to black after exiting area 1. Continues are allowed. No codes may be entered before beginning the game. Each matchup will be a best of five, meaning the first to win three matches will advance. Once the money rounds start, it increases to best of seven, meaning winning four matches to advance. Double elimination tournament brackets, with those being set on Wednesday, March 1st, 2022. You can sign up for the tournament via the link in the description, and there's also a link to a tutorial if you'd like to learn the game. Signups close on March 1st, 2023, with the tournament starting on March 11th, 2023. You can watch the event over on the GG Speedruns Twitch channel. Good luck. You'll need it. Good luck. You'll need it. The world record for the Any% percent 2 player category for Super C on the NES was recently broken. Runners Paclamac and Fulgore sat down and put the time in to pull out a 12.55 time, beating the previous world record by almost 3 whole seconds. The previous world record was held by Stans and Yumashev, and I'm curious if they're going to push the time lower to get the record back. This could blossom into a very interesting back and forth match of world records. If you're not familiar with Super C, you should definitely check out the run. It's a sequel to the original Contra, and there are some really fun vertical scrolling sequences that keep the gameplay fresh. It's also interesting that Konami opted to change the code that's used in the game, and now it only gives you 10 lives instead of 30. A developer that goes by, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. It's that one. That one right there. Yep, that's it. They're working on a port of the original Castlevania for the Sega Master System. With Luis the Sega Nerd. Louis the Sega Nerd? I don't actually know, but they're working on the audio. They've been talking about this project in a post on the smspower.org forums, and the most recent update is as follows. Work in progress, topic for a Sega Master System port of Castlevania. Focus of the project will try to be as true to the NES version of Castlevania, but using as much of the Castlevania Chronicles aesthetic as possible. It may introduce elements of Symphony of the Night as well, depending on how they fit. Very early stages at this point, only some basic things put together, but we look forward to working on this title. Also, many thanks to Luis the Sega Nerd for their audio talents. The project still appears to be very early on as stated below, but what they have made so far looks amazing and I can't wait for a playable demo. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Last but not least, a new Ghostbusters inspired game is recently released for the Amstrad CPC. The game was developed by Manic and is called Shadow Hunter. This action platformer has you shooting ghosts with your beam gun. Once you've eliminated them from the screen, you proceed to place them into the ghost trap to finish the level. Sometimes there are levers that need to be pulled to open up areas, and some screens even have environmental traps. There's also a time limit for each section. The game offers 32 levels across 4 different floors with 5 different ghost types and can be downloaded now on HIO. And that's what I got for you this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and a huge thanks to everybody who reaches out with stories for me to cover. I'd also like to thank KumaCon22 for helping me write the information for the ticker. My name is Stuff is Stuff, and this has been episode 22 of This Week in Retro.
the video is over, but the fact that you're still here, maybe now is a great opportunity. If you'd like to support me further, you can go check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description and there's also a video about it. Or don't. I'm not your real dad. Thank you again. Love you. Bye.